Alright guys, welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I want to start talking to you guys about grid layout. It's a very simple layout. It's a lot easier to understand than a relative layout. So that's what we're going to be doing and also I probably should mention I started a brand new project and I chose blank activity. So do that as well. I didn't think I needed to walk you guys through it since I don't know I already did like three times. But anyways, brand new project, blank activity, choose any name that you want and once it opens up you should be looking at this screen right here so the first thing I actually want to do is just get rid of this text view because I want to start from scratch so delete that now a grid layout is pretty much exactly like you would think if you hover over it it says a layout that places its children or allows you to arrange widgets in a grid now of course a grid just like a spreadsheet or anything is made up of rows and columns so it's really easy to start placing everything out and probably any app that you make it's going to use at least one grid layout at least all the apps that I made I always use grid layout so the first thing we obviously need to do is take this grid layout and drag it on your screen and just put it in the top left right now looks good now another thing I want to do before you start adding any widgets to this layout is this I only want this layout to fit to the size of whatever contents it has so right now it's taking up our entire screen so in order to pretty much just adapt to the size of whatever is inside it what you can do is you can actually just go up to these buttons right here and this one says set layout width to wrap content so click that and the vertical arrows sets the layout height to wrap content so click each of those and now your layouts height and width is pretty much zero zero so this way it's gonna wrap to whatever stuff we put inside it aka widgets so let's add a couple buttons to it right now so actually if you go down to button right here and drag it over that dot you're gonna see row zero column zero and drop it in so essentially every widget you add is gonna have coordinates of a row and a column left and right rows top and down is column so again since we only have one thing in here this is at coordinates zero zero so actually what I'm gonna do is if I have this button selected go down to text and rename the text on this button to center and hit enter so we'll say that I don't know maybe we're gonna make a layout with three columns and two rows and we want this button to be the center one well let's go ahead and add another button to the right of this so I'm gonna go ahead click on button again you start dragging it and as you can see I can't place it here because there's already something here I could place it to the left and it says insert before column zero what I want to do is place it to the right and it says insert row zero which is the first row after column zero so whenever I do that it places it to the right and therefore I'm gonna name this one right hit enter and do the same thing with left real quick drag this button and place it before column zero so again before you place it in it gives you a little like hint of where you're gonna drop it I'm just gonna name this one left and hit enter so the first thing you probably noticed is that okay whenever I added a widget I get these green bars right here and these green bars they actually just represent the entire row or the entire column so if you do something like this take another button and drag it under the left so it says after row zero column zero which pretty much means the first column in the second row then what you can do is let me rename this to bottom and hit enter and check it out so again you can actually select these green bars and it's the same as selecting the entire row so I can take this one right here grab it with my mouse and drag it above row one and they switch places so again that's what that does and another cool thing that you can do is if you ever want to delete 
an entire row what you can do is you can right click this and choose delete and it deletes that entire row so that's a cool little tip that's gonna save you some time but I didn't want to delete that so I'm just gonna hold down control Z on my keyboard and I got it back so this is pretty cool right now but one other thing that I want to do is show you guys how to take one of these widgets and have it span multiple cells so say that I actually wanted this right button to take up this cell and the cell below it so what I can do is actually select that right button and if I scroll all the way up in the properties then I'm gonna see some properties at the very top that say column span and row span now again whenever you want to span something down you need to span it across multiple rows see what I'm saying so for the row span when I have that button selected if I add something like two in here watch what happens to these blue grid lines hit enter so now this one cell is taking up two rows so this row span is pretty much asking how many rows do you want to take up well two good enough now we can actually do this with this bottom button say that we wanted this cell to take up two columns so we go to column span and add two right here so now we have one cell that's the width of two columns but the problem that you guys already see is these widgets or these buttons they don't just automatically expand to take up the contents of the cell so how do we do that well any time you want to adjust the positioning or size of a button or a widget you actually need to use the gravity property now select your widget and go down to layout gravity and expand this so the first thing that we can do is if we want to take this button and center it in the middle of these cells or the cell I guess it's more technically is is we can go to layout gravity center vertical so that's gonna take whatever con contents are in it and center it vertically pretty sweet but now if you're like okay that's nice but I actually wanted to have that button fill the entire contents of the cell well we can do that as well again in your gravity property right here if you go down I guess you didn't need to go down but if you go to fill vertical then watch what happens whenever I click this it expands vertically to fit or fill the entire contents of the cell now another cool thing that I should probably mention is whenever you fill this button to f um, pretty much fill the vertical area you actually don't need to center it anymore so you can go to center and unset that so centering a widget is only useful whenever the widget doesn't take up the entire area right now it would just be a waste so again fill vertical is gonna fill the entire area vertically and we can actually do the same thing for this so right now this button is only taking up half the area if we ever want to fill it to fit the entire area horizontally you guys can probably guess what's gonna happen fill horizontal so there you go so that's the real basis basics can't talk today of a grid layout again you can adjust things or align them in rows and columns and this is how you span across multiple cells and also take any widget and fill it to fit however many cells that you want so for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and for your challenge or your homework this is what I want you guys to do I want you guys to design the coolest layout using a grid layout take a screenshot of it and post it on my forum so even if it's not that great then just go ahead and take a screenshot of it and post it on my forum and uh, well once you completed that challenge you are ready to move on to the next video so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time